This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself West Indies won't ever see their glory days again so says former West Indies baseballer currently Ambrose. Yes, my viewers, today we will be taking a look at an article that I saw on Sportsmax, you know, covering an interview or covering a couple of statements that former piece of currently Ambrose made. Now, in the article, Ambrose is saying that it will be extremely difficult for Windies to produce players with similar qualities to those from the 70s, 80s and early 90s. Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, so Ambrose is going in and you know, we will be looking at a couple views that he would have shared and um, you know, he, he actually brought out some good examples of why we will not um, you know, be likely to return to the top. Now, his main reason for saying this is the fact that he believes that the current players, you know, they have not grasped what cricket actually means to the people from the region. So I guess that's where um, playing for passion comes in. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers. And we all know that, you know, that's really hard to find these days, especially with so many um, contracts floating around. And the other day I did a video talking about, um, you know, where Jason Ola is concerned and getting an opportunity to play IPL. And I don't want people to misunderstood, um, understand what I was saying. And I'm not saying that he should be allowed to play franchise cricket out and out. But, you know, I am thinking that the, the board needs to be flexible. And um, it actually ties in with what Ambrose is saying now as it regards to passion. Um, a lot of our players nowadays, they are not really playing for the passion of the game. You know, they are using it as a way of <laughs> raking in a lot of cash. Now, remember guys, Ambrose is a man of very high standard. And in his heydays or in his days of playing, he took 405 wickets in um, 98 test matches. So, one can understand that if Ambrose is going to be critical is going to be extremely critical of what's going on so um when we have people like these really um these guys talking it's always important are extremely good to sit and really listen what they are saying now speaking on a talk show the legend did pour out his, his heart as it regards to um win this cricket my viewers and subscribers so let me give you a direct quote from um the man himself no this is no disrespect to the players we have no because we have a couple of guys who have some quality in them. But I don't think we will see those exceptional glory days again. And that there, you know, is a quote that was taken directly from the man himself. And um, you always have to respect a person's opinion. You might not be in, a, you know, you might not agree with what they are saying. But um, a person's opinion is always valid my viewers and subscribers now ambrose further stated that it will be difficult to find another viv richards another greenwich and another haynes you know he also spoke about people like lara holding um you know people like himself walsh and also people like andrew roberts etc yeah man so he's saying that boy those players but then were really hungry and things so it's going to be difficult to 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 find people with the same sort of commitment now that i can understand my viewers you know because those days um our players back then you know they were extremely hungry for success and not only for the money because we know all of the situations that were going back then so people wanted of our kind really wanted to be associated with something that was actually successful now ambrose stated that um cricket is the only sport that really unites um caribbean people therefore our young cricketers need to first understand this before you know we will even go anywhere near the top again and um this i agree with because you know 
um, if you're talking about Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados, um, Dominica, if you're talking about Guyana, you're talking about St. Vincent, you're talking about all these um, Caribbean countries. They all have their own football, track and field team, all of that. But cricket, cricket is the sport that really unites us because all of us come together to make up the West Indies team. So, you know, players will have to understand that, boy, it is a region thing before we can um, be a force to be reckoned with once again. No, the former Pacer agreed that, boy, we might be able to climb up the ICC rankings and be competitive, but the glory days will be difficult to get back. So, you know, Ambrose is not saying that, boy, we won't ever be able to go up the rankings and we will always be seated in 8, 9 or 10. Um, he's not saying that, my viewers and subscribers. He's saying that, boy, you know, even if we climb up the rankings, it will be extremely difficult to match up to what was achieved back in the days no i understand that my viewers because you know back in those days as i said earlier we had loads of things um you know to, to battle with outside of the game that sarta had um our people down and i don't have to go into specifics as it regards to what people of our kind was actually going um were actually going through back in the 60s 70s 80s I wasn't born um, then, but we all know the type, the main issue that people of our kind were actually facing back then. So, you know, um, we, the, the players back then would, ha would have used cricket as a way to sort of um, battle that, even though we had some, some fight as regards to, to, to this, the, those same sort of things. You know, but cricket was one way in which we, we were able to, to show that people of our kind, you know, we could, we could be competitive also. Now, my viewers and subscribers, back then, uniting and playing was sort of, provi you know, sort of provided an opportunity for our people to really shine. And, you know, that is what I'm saying. Even though we were, we were looked down on, um, we were still able to, to compete. And I mean, um, we had people all over the world, back then people in England, people in um, America and not necessarily America but you know England was big in cricket back then and we had people that would have moved from the Caribbean over to that side of the world and when we were able to compete and be that dominant you know especially when West Indies would go and tour over those side of the world then you can imagine that our people would be able to walk with their head up because you know they, they would they would see people that look like them um, coming in and beating England, coming in and beating New Zealand and all those things. So that, that was something that um, everybody, could be ident everybody could identify with. Now, the 1975 and 1979 World Cups, you know, they were actually lifted by the Windies under the leadership of Clive Lloyd. And, you know, this Ambrose, you know, he's saying that, boy, the, the, these days were, were, were exceptionally good for us. And Ambrose is, um, actually used this to bring across his point that players were extremely hungry for success. And but then because, you know, we haven't won anything of major um, since. I think we were able to lift the ICC Champions Trophy back in 2004, if I am not mistaken. Um, yeah, man, I think so. I, I, I didn't look back on my records just now. It's just, just now that I'm doing this video, I'm, I'm actually remembering those days I was actually in primary school. But I, I think we won the ICC Champions Trophy in 2004 and then we would have um, come up to no one. You know, we would have secured a couple of T20 titles. But when all is said and done, my viewers and subscribers, after those 75 and 79 World Cup triumphs, we haven't really, you know, managed to, to, to win anything and we have gradually slipped down. Now, Ambrose alluded to the fact that um, being ranked 8 in Test Cricket, 8 in ODI and 10th in T20 means that we have some way to go as it regards to even moving up the rankings and, and thing, you know. And I mean, winning T20 World Cups in 2012 and 2016 can be considered as recent success yes my viewers and subscribers for the caribbean team but um ambrose is actually hoping that we will do even better and i can agree with him 
But at the end of the day, my viewers and subscribers, I think it's going to be very difficult because of the way how the game has actually, um, you know, how the, the, the game has actually moved. Because um, I mean, a lot of a lot of teams out there, they are still, um, they are still putting their their Test cricket and their T20 cricket and their ODI cricket first. You know, so they will continuously perform or produce players that are at that level in that in those um sort of formats. But if we zoom in on our cricket here in the Caribbean, I don't know if it is because of our culture and we love the fast pace and we love the flashy lifestyle and all of that while we why we are gravitating towards that. Or it could be a fa um a fact that boy in the Caribbean it's sort of a bit more, you know, challenging as it regards to um socioeconomic background i don't even want to go into too much of that but people are always going to use see it as a way of earning quick money for themselves and their families so they will gravitate towards that and when i look into it my viewers and subscribers after the lights of um shivnar and shanda paul saw one probably marlon samuels gail um people like jerome taylor you know, we, we haven't necessarily well we have um we have we have Gabriel and Holland now, but we haven't necessarily um been able to really um you know find a couple of players that are out and out test cricketers. You know, you see just like how we can look and we can say, Yes man, Gail, Pollard, Puran, Narine bravos of this world so we can definitely zoom in and say yes these players are out and out t20 cricketers and you know they can do a thing or two in tests and 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 odi we have not been able to definitely identify players that are test cricket cricketers like that i mean we have the lights of Nkuma bana um people like um, Shamar Brooks, Rastan Chase, Rakim Carnwell. We have those guys that are coming to the forefront now as it regards to tests, but we haven't um, necessarily been able to 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 you know produce that sort of strong quality as we have been able to produce um, on the T20 scene. So that is something that we definitely need to look at, my viewers and subscribers. So, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, I definitely understand what Sir Curtly Ambrose is saying, and I don't take it as being disrespectful, you know, um, the, the, the fact that he's saying that we will, we, it is highly unlikely that we will return to our glory days, because I guess he's, he, he's actually looking at how we are performing now, looking at the type of culture that is being developed, so he's well in his um, well within his right in my opinion to, to to be saying all of this my viewers and subscribers and we just have to hope because at the end of the day test cricket is an ODI cricket those are the 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 true and the purest form of cricket in my opinion and I see we have T20 cricket and they have even started T10 so who to tell we might even have eight um T8 and T5 cricket so um I, I don't know <laughs> or it wouldn't be t8 or t5 it would be just be five five over cricket and eight over cricket and we don't want anything to what i don't like that so yeah mama viewers and subscribers um back um in serious note now i really understand what sir currently is saying and i only can sit here and wish the best because i am an armchair cricketer you know i sit down and rest my arm on the chair and talk i can't go out on the field and do anything so i just have to hope that the players will be able to change and will be able to put things back as they were it, it will be difficult but it is not impossible and as currently saying we will have to understand what cricket really means to the region and we will have to understand that we need to change the culture in order to return to the top. But those are the, just my views as it regards to what currently is saying. So you guys, as per usual, just go ahead and let me know what you think down in the comment section. Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share. Leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.